Good morning, saints of God. This is another wonderful day. Amen. A day to thank God for his goodness and his grace. Psalms 118 verse 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And you're saying, well, how could we be glad and be rejoicing with all this sickness and with all these troubles and with all these things that are happening in this world? But the word of God tells us that to call upon the name of the Lord and you will be saved. You will be delivered. You will be set free. Call upon that name, amen, because that name is a name that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. At that name, demons tremble. At that name, sicknesses flee. At that name, amen, those that are oppressed are set free and loose from the prisons that they've been in, in Jesus' name. Now, we see here in Psalms 118, verse 25, he says, Save now, we beseech. O oh Lord, send now prosperity. O oh Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Yes, that's what we desire in life. We desire to have success. We desire good things. We desire prosperity. We desire help. And so, yes, that's good to pray for these things. Don't anybody ever let, tell you you can't pray for these things because every man wants this. Amen? But the good thing we know that in this time, amen, in these rough days, whether we've had good days and then we've had rough days, but in these rough days, man, we thank the Lord, as Psalms 121, verse 5 through 7 says, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. Amen. Thank you. Yes. You, can you say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, God, because you're helping me right now. And you're seeing me through these rough times. We're not going to be afraid of the terror that comes by night. We're not going to be afraid of no pandemic because we are trusting in the Lord. We're trusting in him who made the heavens and the earth. And he will keep what we've given to him. David wrote here in Psalms 121, verse 8. He said, the Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time and forevermore. Thank you, Lord. He is going to preserve us. Amen. He is going to help us. He's going to keep us. He will not abandon us. He will not leave us. He will not ignore us. Amen. Thank the Lord for that. David also wrote in Psalms 120 verse 2. He says, Lord, surround your people as the mountains surround Jerusalem from this time and forevermore. Amen. As the mountains surround us, like we live here in Los Angeles area, we got some mountains surrounding us. They were there before we were here and they'll be here after we are long gone. Amen. So I want you to get a picture of that. When you look to those mountains, you see that they're there 24 7 365 and been there since the beginning uh, since the creation of the earth and that's the gig god's showing you that as the mountains surround jerusalem amen so lord surround your people i couldn't think of a better way to be amen than be surrounded by the lord hallelujah here we see that David says in Psalms 132, verse 16, he says, Clothe me with your salvation, and I will shout aloud for joy. Yes, clothe us, God. Clothe us with your protection. Clothe us, Father God, with provision. Clothe us, Father God, with salvation. We thank you, God. When God's clothing you, you are looking good. Amen. Better than being in those stylish short ass jeans. Amen if those things are still around. But you know what? Just thank God, because when God clothes you, you're a lot better off than you were. And as we're getting ready to close out our scripture, we see here in Psalms 136, it says, Lord, your mercy endures forever. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Amen. Call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. Romans 10, 17. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved and be delivered. Trust in him. Call upon him because he will protect you. He will keep you safe. There ain't no better deal out there. There ain't no better insurance out there than the assurance that God is your helper. God is your keeper. And God will keep you, <coughs> excuse me, and God will keep you well. 
And so just rejoice and be exceedingly glad because he's on the throne and he's a great God and he's a mighty God. God bless you today in Jesus' name.